All right, guys, Richard here with CRG Games, and I'm back uh, for the third collector box opening tonight. Uh, this is the last one I have. I picked this up on Amazon, or sorry, on Woot, uh, which is owned by Amazon um, probably a month or so ago for $143. Uh, of course, plus tax. Shipping was free if you're an Amazon Prime member. Um, expected value on Midnight Hunt is not that great. However, if you pull a single, um, uh, what is it, uh, Meat Hook Massacre, I believe the regular one is at like $55 or so, and the extended art is somewhere in the $60 to $70 range, I do believe. Now, if you get it in foil, you're doing even better. So the best I can hope for is something like that. Otherwise, I am going to get hosed. That's how this goes. It's all for the views, isn't that right? I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm not really a YouTuber. So, let's crack these open. All of these cards, I'll just preface this, are going to be available on uh, my TCG store. It's crggames.tcgpro.com. Check it out. I have uh, everything 95% off, whatever my marketplace is. And it helps me out by saving on uh, fees. So I would appreciate it if you take a look. If you see anything that you'd like, I promise I'll take care of you. So let's start off. Uh, and while I'm going here, I'm going to sort by color because um, it helps me down the road. I'm going to sort them later. Saves me a ton of time. These lands, um, I think they'll look great. But it doesn't seem like they really took off very well. So start off with the Slow Gurk, uh, the Overslime, Lind, Curse of the Shaken Faith, Dawn Heart Rejuvenator. That's a common. Okay, so there's two commons. That's right, two showcase commons. We'll put those down here. Rim, Carlos, Baneblade, Scoundrel. That is black and Shipwreck Marsh. So. I've watched a, a good bit of these uh, openings of Midnight Hunt. The foil um, lands uh, from this land cycle seem to be kind of rare, uh, even in um, even in collector packs. So that's interesting. They look really good. I will say that they look really, really good. All right. Um. Multi black. Am I missing anything? Have I not got any blue cards yet? Two packs and no blue cards. Uh, Lisa. Okay. Prowling. Geist Catcher. Burn down the house. Some more greens. And reds. Old Stick Fingers. Strange, strange name. Curse of Shaken Faith. Okay, so that pack was complete garbo number three so my, my buddy and i always have this argument of which was better midnight hunt or crimson Vow. going purely off of the draft experience i actually had more fun with crimson Vow. hey bloodthirsty adversary so the adversaries in this set are actually pretty good, especially Bloodthirsty. So that's uh, that's probably going to be a couple bucks there. Um, Willow Geist, Candle Grove Witch. That is a white card. Not gotten a lot of those. Brutal Cathar, another Candle Grove Witch. Siphon Insight. Okay. So um, going purely from a draft perspective, I had more fun on Crimson Val, I thought. I was more excited for Crimson Val. Mainly because I was trying to pull that Soren the Mirthless, which I never did get. But, I don't know, I just thought it was a little bit more fun. But my buddy, he thinks it was absolute garbo. Um, I don't know how I feel, really. I love these lands, you know, from both cycles, so there's that. Uh, old Triskaidekaphile. That's such a strange thing to have as a card. I don't know. Lisa, hey, Lisa, there. I think part of the um, hate for the sets was maybe because 
there's so many different artworks and by that i mean three typically typically uh the most there's going to be is three artworks um you're going to have a regular you're going to have an extended art and you're going to have a showcase so i know everybody kind of gets bogged down with all of the different um arts but there's really only three uh unless i'm forgetting something for some reason I mean, this is a showcase. This is a showcase. This is an extended art. And then you have your regular. Now, if you want to count it, you've basically uh, got a foil version of each one as well. So I, technically it takes it up to six. It's too many, it, it really is. I'm usually pretty forgiving with that kind of thing. Um, I don't care necessarily if there's a ton of different arts. Um, as long as they're good, as long as they're desirable, sometimes now they just seem unnecessary. Uh, we don't need that many arts, any overgrown farmland, there's our second land there, Shady Traveler. We don't necessarily need all of the different variants. Um, it seems with Streets of New Capenna that Wizards may have, uh, settled on three, um, and it seems like that's just going to be the way it goes. That's going to be your regular, uh, your extended art, and your um, showcase. Uh, Mood Veil Regent, that's a good one. My buddy was telling me something about this. Is like People were upset because it had something to do with reserve list. Like it was better than a, than a certain card or whatever. I wasn't really getting it. Uh, hey, Haunted Ridge. There we go. It might be nice if it was foil, but that is what it is. So we're like over halfway now. No Meat Hook Massacre, which is what we want. Um, Yeah, so these three boxes, I guess I would have been better just selling the packs, to be honest. Visions of Dread, that. Oh, there we go. Meat Hook Massacre Extended Art. Yes. It was about 60 bucks right there, I believe. I, I was totally just talking, and I was about to miss it. I was focused on this land back here. Slow Gurk, uh, Village Watch, Deserted Beach. I mean, just look how clean. The art is so clean. I know my light's kind of making it all blown out um, and, and shiny, but... Uh, wow, it is just so clean. Meat Hook Massacre, though. That... That right there, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put that in a sleeve because, oops, I need to keep that pristine, hold this value. Wouldn't that be crazy if I got another one? So, the other two Caldine boxes, kind of garbage. This is looking to be a little bit different. Now, I don't know if I'm going to make my money back. I need to make at least 140 bucks uh, after fees to break even. Probably not going to happen. Deserve to be Hey, we got another one. This box already seems like I'm getting more uh, lands than anybody else uh, that I've seen. So three more packs. Oh, wow, that one opened really easy. That's a far cry from... Uh, Neon Dynasty, where you got to literally pry those things open. Um, let's see here. I got a mountain. Then we got Darshan Rampage, Kyler, Croaking Counterpart. That's a funny looking card. Um, is that a rare? That is a rare. That was actually hard to tell. Poppet Stitcher. I believe that's worth a couple bucks. Two more. We need another Meat Hook Masker. Please. I heard if you say please, it makes it happen. Um, or maybe Joey Moss said that uh, if you yell at it and you get angry, it happens. Somebody said that. I don't remember who it was. Sun Gold, Stalwart. Uh, not good. Not good. Jadar. Dar. Triskaidekaphile foil. That's a pretty neat looking card still in foil. A, a Renan 7 token. That is 
technically a mythic token, I believe. But I don't know if it's desirable or not. So that'll affect the value. Um, I have a Ren 7. I get the promo pack, the foil. I don't play it. I don't play Ren 6 either. It just doesn't work for me in, in, in my deck the way I play. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Last pack. Is this an artifact? It is. Um, okay. Uh, Crowded Crypt. Curse of Leeches. Tavern Ruffian. Fangblade, Katilda, another Tavern Ruffian, and Bloodline Culling. So, um, yeah, I think this box was probably generally a success. I mean, this Meehook Masker right here pays for half of the box almost. So, I'm going to call that a win. Um, I think this is probably a break-even box. You know, hopefully something spikes overnight and these things go to the moon. Probably not going to happen, though. So, um, I got a couple more boxes, actually. Um, I may open those as well. I haven't decided. I have about 30,000 cards to sort, and I'm trying not to add to that pile uh, before I can get it done. So, again, this is Richard here with CRG Games. You know, check me out. It's uh, crggames.tcgplayer, uh, sorry, tcgpro.com. Um, all of these cards will probably within the next day or so be listed uh, for relatively cheap. So it helps me out because I don't have to pay fees as much and um helps me grow so i want to do more of these and uh, that is my goal um maybe here in the future to you know start doing more youtube stuff um i'm gonna toss in every once in a while probably a beer review uh, again heart state very good i love this stuff um they come in a four pack with four different flavors i could talk about it for hours but i'm gonna end it here you guys have a good uh week ahead and I'll catch you later See ya.